Hey you guys, so I have been hanging out with several people that's been trying to find jobs and I've been trying to find jobs too, but somehow the jobs I get myself into I either I either get let go because of certain circumstances I didn't fit in the employer's eyes and and some of them it was only temporary so it's under those type of jobs are very understandable of why i didn't stay long because i was already told it was going it's going to be temporary it's going to be like either a few months or just a month so and i had several people coming into my life asking how do you prepare for an interview because i i think i had like probably three friends that asked me how to prepare for job interviews and I guess with me trying to explain it and observing how uh, the people that I was talking about interviews and listening to their answers I have been a supervisor before I got to interview several people and looking back at it um, the num the only thing I would tell the person is the number one thing that I didn't accept an employee before was because you need to slow down in the parking lot because you don't know if you're gonna end up meeting that the person that's gonna hire you. So I remember in when I was a supervisor at Barnes and Nobles, I was getting to work. I knew I had to interview someone, but I was running a little late. So. A person almost crashed into my car and basically said fuck you and flicked me off and the funny part is is that I I don't think he saw my face but I but he must have got a glimpse of a little bit but um when I got to my office it's kind of funny because when because the interview process you have to go through several people until you get to me so um and so since I was catching up doing a lot of paperwork trying to finish orders and since I get bored really easily I'm a very workaholic I'm I cannot stay still in a long period of time and and so I thought well in that type of office environment I I was so used to moving around from my previous jobs I was not used to just standing I mean sitting still the whole time so when the person got to me I I basically acted like it, nothing happened. <laughs> I basically smiled and said, Hi, how are you? How's your interview so far? And like he just looked at me like, Fuck. <laughs> I just started laughing. I started laughing on the inside, looking at his facial expressions. And I'm like, basically, I was like giving hints about the parking lot. <laughs> And I guess he was acting like he didn't know, <laughs> but I could definitely tell that he knew that it, it was me that he flicked off to. So when you go into an interview, slow down in the parking lot <laughs> that because you're never going to get a job if you flick off in the hiring manager. Um, anyways, <laughs> interview questions. If any of you guys have watched Shark Tank, Shark Tank, the judges in that show are all entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are very impatient and if you explain things to them, they can already tell that if when you're trying to avoid the question. So if you've seen how Donald Trump answers questions and as he and just rambles on about different type of topics when it's a yes or no question and he's trying to avoid saying yes or no entrepreneurs hate when you don't get straight to the point and that's the same thing as most employers if you meet an employer that likes to hear every single detail then you're lucky that they're very patient to hear that but not a lot of managers and supervisors want to hear every single thing so get straight to the point like how a question like um what's your strengths or weaknesses so with those type of questions not only when preparing for an interview you have to know about yourself because if you don't know anything about yourself you're not going to answer those questions very well and if you haven't experienced a lot and you haven't really 
got to uh, explore much about yourself and explore how you are with other different types of people, it's going to be harder for you to answer interview questions. So with the like for the strengths and weaknesses, I know my strengths and weaknesses. I know my personality because I didn't realize in college they basically take you basically make you take certain psychological tests and to see how if you're a type A personality, type B personality, the Meyer Briggs test and that's the most popular one right now. Um, there's other certain tests that tells you whether you're a leader or not. If basically a lot of employers they're looking for leaders, but there's certain employers that are not looking for leaders because they don't want someone to take their job. So those are the type of employers you have to be careful with of how you communicate and so basically it's hard to tell um how you're going to explain things to an employer because you don't know about their personality so if they're the if they start off talking about the company and about their personality then that's a good thing try to study what they're trying to explain to you about their personality because and especially if you ask questions about their personality while they're talking about themselves that will help you just help you figure out how how you're going to explain it to the employer um, and what type of employee they're basically looking for so try to get them to open up but if they don't start off with that and they just go straight to the questions then you basically have a 50 50 chance of trying to figure out what to say to that type of person so um but if that employer does not accept you and does not take you in because of how you communicated to the employer that it was not meant to be, you guys are not going to work very well. It gets very frustrating and I know because I am very impatient with job searching and I have been wanting to work every single time. I hate temp jobs. I, I love how I get to learn something new. I'm working with new people but at the same time I want something stable so I know where and how I'm going to pay off my bills and how I'm going to be stable financially financially but if you get a temporary job it's not a bad thing because you're going to learn new skills that's going to prepare you for a new job so um get to know yourself with job interviews especially if they're asking you about yourself because normally they're going to ask okay tell me about yourself what like i said what's your strengths or weaknesses so what have you done in your previous jobs that help you to get to get you to where you want to be in life what are your dreams and goals what that that's why for some people they don't know how to answer those questions and then some people tend to hesitate a lot or take a long time answering those questions especially for if you meet a boss that's very impatient of you trying taking your time on answering a question then it's going to get harder for you to answer those type of interview questions so get so definitely get to know yourself explore volunteer i know for most people they don't like volunteering and it's quite understandable because there there's so many places you, that you could volunteer but not a lot of people realize that they have a lot of options and i guess it's just that not a lot of people have the connections to get to where they could find a volunteer place of what they enjoy so if you're going to volunteer volunteer somewhere where you could enjoy um if you like planning or anything do anything with helping out the environment if you love kids then work in a boys and girls club or youth zone or those type of places if you love helping out people like helping out an elderly home and trying to get yourself in the medical field or anything like that then that would be the perfect place to volunteer there's so many options out there it's just for most people doing the research it takes too much time and it's quite understandable not everybody loves doing research not everybody wants to be constantly finding finding certain things because it's like basically you're trying to solve a puzzle and it gets frustrating when you don't solve it right away so it's very understandable but it doesn't but there's certain other ways you could do that just meet new people just meet people especially if you're a club person or if you love to party 
then go out to parties, go out to clubs, and get them to give you the answers to those questions. If and so, because I know a lot of my friends from, from college, they basically there there's a reason why most college students love to party so much. Not only are you well, I know some people are there to hook up and, and find a relationship and all that stuff, but there's a reason <laughs> clubs are very useful because going to the club and going to bars and meeting people there, it could help you find someone, especially if there's a manager or supervisor there and you meet those type of managers and supervisors at the club and the bar because it's understandable how it gets very stressful in a business environment and especially if you're a leader in a business environment it it kills you so much especially if you don't get that break so some some leaders they go to clubs and bars to get away from reality and facing reality is hard for most people to and to handle so much on stressful situations that's unexpected so get yourself out there there's so many events and that you could go to try to figure out what type of person you are and so you could figure out what type of place you could go to to meet certain connections uh, with me I'm pretty much open with anything I do admit there were certain things about myself that made me close off because I was I'm such an introvert I would rather stay home but since I never got to explore much of different parts of different cities and go to different areas meeting new people and meeting new experiences made me want to learn more and meet more people so if you've been in the area where you've been stuck there all your life and you're already getting bored of the area it's like what else is there then get out a little bit further even though it might it might cost a little bit more gas wise for most people but if not then just go to clubs where like people from different countries in different states will come to that certain club or volunteer site that way you could meet people there if you don't want to travel out of the city or out of state or out of the country um but there's so especially since the internet is very useful and it's very helpful you can look up all those places that you want to so um like I said, job, job wise, everything is based off connections now. If you want to find a job nowadays, you need to have connections. You have to be a people person. You have, I know for most people, dealing with people is very annoying, especially if they're very negative and they're very moody and very emotional. It's very quite understandable because before I could not. I was not very confrontational. I, whenever someone messed with me, I just left it alone because I was too afraid to stand up to that person and say, hey, I want you to stop picking on me. I want you to, so my, so the jobs that I've been through, I know a lot of people would be like, I'm quitting this, I'm quitting the job in a week, but I sticked with it because I felt like I needed to accomplish something. I needed to finish something about myself and I wanted to prove people wrong in the workplace. So that that was that's just me, but for most people if that job doesn't work for you, then keep finding new jobs every single time and try to get new experiences because when you get into different types of businesses, you understand how the system works with money and how everything else works with different businesses because you realize that not every business is all the same and even though they may have the same company name they might not have the same boss or leader or um a ceo so um that's what a lot of people don't get because there's some people that stay in a job for like 20 30 40 50 60 years and they don't understand why other companies work the way they do so explore get to know yourself um get straight to the point with interview questions uh don't don't explain too much negative negative stuff about your previous and employment history because that's definitely going to 
not make you a very good qualifier for the, for the job. It's not really going to help if you mention, oh, this job worked too many hours. It made it gave me too many hours for this job. I need something a little bit more flexible. Employers want something flexible. That's why they, when it comes to work or any type of business, they want you to put in as many hours as possible. And it's understandable for most people. They have, especially if you have children at home, there's, I know having, having kids in your life and you're trying to spend as much time with them it's really hard and it's very it it's a complete sacrifice not having the enough time especially when your kids are growing up and you feel like you're missing out on certain aspects of their lives but, but the thing is with businesses they're competing with other businesses and they need people to stay and put in the hours because they're competing with other people they're trying to make as much profit so that's that's a thing that not a lot of people understand and it's very hard for most people so if so you have to basically find a company that's very flexible with their hours and when it comes to either uh, those type of businesses you have to realize if something goes wrong in the business you have to stay in the business if there's a shorter of employees because that's like I said it's all competition with businesses and it, it sucks and it's quite understandable but if they're not making money then they can't give you the benefits that you need and they can't give you the better pay that you want so that's the that's the thing that's very hard about it and and especially if they're investing money on the products and if products are rising up then it's going to be hard if prices are going up in other companies because businesses depend on products from other companies and if those companies are rising up their prices then it's going to be much harder to give you the benefits that you need so that's and if resources are being sh being cut off that's much harder also for the employer because they because they, they know they need those resources to make the profit and without those resources those materials they're not going to make much money to provide for the employees and sometimes that's why it's hard decision for employers to either they have to decide whether to cut employees whether to lower their prices their um their salaries or whether they have to cut off benefits so and or other factors towards that so and that's why it gets really frustrating with job wise so you have to prepare yourself to put in a lot of hours for that employer and if that employer doesn't appreciate you and basically overworks you then you have to decide for yourself whether you want to stay in that type of business or not and and try to find a better business environment so that's why do your research on the type of job you're getting yourself into the better business they're making more profit the better it is for you if the business is just barely starting out or if the business is not making enough money then it should then it should be then it's not and then certain things are not going to work out for you uh, with that um but anyways um like i said everything is all comp competition it's and if you don't have that competitive drive in you, then try to find a job position that doesn't require as much competitiveness to it. Because more, the more money you want, the more com competitive you have to get. So if you're, so if you're the type of person that's very simple, then work in a company that doesn't require that much competition and if you don't want that stress so you have to realize that material things are not worth it if you're going if you have to deal with that type of business and you have to realize that you have to realize you have to be happy with what you have because more money is going to cause more problems so 
but for some people they want the more they want more money because they're they want all the material items that they want and it's quite understandable not a lot of people grew up having the material things that they want so for, that's how I learned it the hard way is I'm realizing now that money is definitely not worth it. I there's certain things I never got to have when I was younger and I became um like especially with makeup. I never got to have much makeup. So I'm and I know with high brand makeup it's not really worth it because it's definitely the same thing to me I know for most people it's like but the quality is a lot better but I, I'm gonna end up wiping that off of my face anyway so it's not really a big deal if I with me I would rather just go to Walmart or Target or Dollar Tree to get the certain products that I want um, but anyways uh, get you know, Understand the business, uh, prepare for those in job interview questions, get to know yourself, um, volunteer, go out, meet new people to prepare for those type of jobs so it could help you understand what you need to explain. So it's much easier for you to explain in the interview because the more you don't have going on in your life, the much harder it is for you to prepare for those interview questions and how you present yourself. But um, anyways. And that's all I have to say and hopefully this video helps out for most of you guys. Um, anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.